Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today we are going to make a traveling jewelry case. It takes very basic square and rectangle pieces of fabric. There are no zippers and no hand stitching and we can get this done really quick and it's very cute. Let's go through the things that we are going to need and then we can get started. You will need a piece of batting one and a half inches by 24 inches and this can be left over. You will need one yard of ribbon and whatever size and style you want will be fine. You will need one piece of batting and it's going to be 8 inches by 17 inches and this is the main body of the roll. You will need one hair elastic, a button, a crochet hook and this is actually going to help you turn it with and then of course whatever thread you decide to use. Now you will need two pieces of fabric 9 inches by 18 inches. This will be the front and the back. You will need three pieces here by 9 by 14. These will be pockets and the inside piece. Then you will need two pieces 9 by 9 and those will actually be little hidden pockets two pieces, two by nine inches, and this will hold your rings. For the first step, we need to make the outside cover. And that consists of the two that are nine by 18 and the batting. Now the batting is one inch smaller than this. And the reason is it's actually going to sit in between so that when you put this layer on and you make the sandwich, not going to have batting around the outsides. So we need to start with that. And what we need to do is if you use a batting that actually fuses together, then you're able to take this to your iron and sew it all together and it's going to stick. Okay, so I've gone to the iron and I have fused the front and the back together. And I'm going to use this as the front and I've chosen this as the back. Now this fabric is from North Cal it's called Floral Whimsy. And I'll put a link in the description for you. And in the description I'll give you all the sizes so that you will have them handy. Now because I've decided this is going to be the front, I'm going to put some pockets on the inside. So take your two 9 by 9 inch squares and you're going to fold them in half and you are going to press them. Now I like to press them again in half this way. We will need this mark. So I am going to take this folded piece and this is the folded edge and I'm going to match up my edges here and this one has been ironed and there is my seam here that I'm going to sew and it's going to go on this edge so I have the folded edges here and these are all the raw sides and what I need is to stitch down that fold line or that iron line and that will make two little inside pockets now you are going to see the stitching on the front side so you can use a decorative stitch if you'd like or you can just use a straight stitch whatever you prefer that's the stitch for you to use so let's get this stitch down. All we've done is we've taken two rows of stitching here and the sides are not sewn yet and that's okay. And we're going to make now the inside where you're going to have larger pockets. You're going to take your three pieces that were 9 by 14. Two of them you will press in half just the same way as you did these so that the right sides are going to be on the outside and you have one fold line because they will actually be sewn in here. So both sides are going to be pressed and they're going to be put here. Now you're going to need to make the center piece here. You're going to take the one piece that you have left over and you're going to actually iron it in half. And that is going to give you a center mark and that center mark is going to be very helpful. You're going to then take your two outside edges and you're going to fold them to that center mark and you are going to press them. So you will be having seams here. And this raw edge will actually be all inside and you will never see it. Here, are you starting to get the look of this now? 
The next step we're going to do is we're going to make a little piece that is going to go in here and that's going to hold your rings. It's very easy to do. You are going to need the two pieces that you have left over, which are about two inches by nine inches. You will need your elastic band, you're going to need your button, and you're going to need your crochet hook and your piece of batting. And we're going to make this all in one stage. Let me show you a close up and I'll show you how easy it is to get done. First thing you need to do is these are both going to be the good side of the fabric. You're going to take your hair elastic and you are going to place it up here at the top. Now this is going to be the good side and what you're going to do is just squeeze that and then you're going to need to decide how big you're going to make that loop by just putting your button inside. If you have a very big button then you might need to go there. So it depends on the size of the button you need you will just squeeze it there. And you are going to actually sew right here. So take the button off and you're going to pin this loop out of the way so you're not going to stitch it. And that's all you're going to need. You can always test that again if you would like. This is going to be both the right sides and this is going to go together. And you're going to stitch right across there by a quarter of an inch keeping your elastics together. So now we have the loop sewn on. The next stage you're going to be sewing and turning and stuffing all in one. Make sure you have no pin here. Then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it back over. Stitch down one side and go right back over that stitching. And you can even go over a couple of times if you'd like here just to secure it. And then you're going to sew all the way back down here. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to trim this corner off. And that just actually will make it easier to turn to the right side. Now leave this loop here because you're going to need it. Take your batting, tie it in half, you're going to tie one knot. Then you're going to take this loop and you're going to put this through the loop. So you have the knot there. And you are going to tie one more knot. There you have it. Now we are just going to turn this right side out. Now I like to start and just pull the fabric apart slightly and just work it in. Now take your crochet hook and you're going to insert it in between the two layers and you're going to go up to the top and grab that loop and you're going to be able to pull that loop right up to the top and just hold on to that loop. So now what you're going to do is turn this right side and the batting will actually stuff it as you are turning it so you won't have to stuff it. Just take your time and work the fabric down around the batting. Actually your little end will come out and you're just going to be able to slide the fabric right through. So now you have the batting is already stuffed your tube. Hook out now your corners so that they're nice and flat. And just give this a tug. Fix it up so that it's nice and straight and you like the look of it. So you will need to know where you're going to position this. Depending on the size of the button you're going to use, this will be able to adjust. So you're just going to take your button and you're going to be able to figure out exactly where you are going to put this. And that's where you know this is going to be pinned and this is actually going to be stitched there. So I have the ring holder stitched on. Now I can end this off. Now with a couple of more stitches we're going to be able to finish this. Take your pieces apart. This piece here is going to flip over. Make sure your pockets are nice and flat. Now you will take this ribbon and you're going to put it in the center because you are going to stitch it in. Just pin it here but also 
pin it out of the way. Now you need to take the center of this piece and line it up with the center of this. Just do it by folding it in half and just put a little fold marks with your hand and that will be enough. So you have the ring keeper is going flat against here and this center seam will line up with the center seam here. Then the next stage is you're going to put your pockets in. Here's the pocket, here's the fold, and here are the raw edges. It will line up here. It's going to go there. Now put a couple of pins here. And you're going to go and you are going to sew a quarter inch all the way around. Now I like to go around twice. Okay, we've sewn all the way around twice. Now just clip the corners. Now we get to turn this right side out. Take your hand through here and in behind here and you're going to be able to turn the whole thing right side out. There we have it. It's turned right side and poke these corners out so that they're nice and flat. You will see where the button goes right here. So you will be able to sew it very easily because you're going to be able to put your hand underneath here and you're going to be able to sew that button. So let's get it pressed and get the button sewn on. Okay, so we're almost done. We have the button sewn and so that the rings will stay on here. But we also have this part that's open and we need to close this now. So lying this flat, you will actually be able to feel the top of these pockets. So the top of the pocket is right here and I can feel it right there. And what I'm going to do is I want to stitch just beside that mark. Not on the pocket because then you won't be able to put your hand in and use the pocket. So I find a really simple way to mark this is with tape. I will just take a piece of painter's tape or masking tape and I can feel where that mark is. And I am just going to put the tape right over top of that mark so I will know where it is. So I will actually sew on this side of it. So I need to put a mark on this side. Now you're going to stitch through all the layers. So again, if you want, you can use a decorative stitch or you can just use a straight stitch. Now you can see I just sewed a quarter inch over there. So now we are done. Remove the tape. Now we have the two pockets here the spot for the ring and of course we have the little hidden pockets inside. You will just take it, roll it up and tie it and now you just need somewhere to go. So there we have it. A cute little roll up for your jewelry when you need to travel. They also make excellent gifts and they're very easy to do. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I will put more information in the descriptions for you. And as always, come back soon and we'll see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.